So we are waiting for clarity on a sudden and mysterious detour by the U.S. Secretary of State. Mike Pompeo was scheduled to meet with German Chancellor Angela Merkel today. But early Tuesday morning, he abruptly cancelled his trip to Berlin to travel elsewhere. Now, the media travelling with him were told not to say where they were going, and they were warned they might not be able to report details until they were ready leaving the location. They were all told the secretary had, quote, pressing issues to deal with. Well, we're, we're still waiting to hear from the press pool travelling with the secretary. In the meantime, Nick Robertson joins me now from London. So it does get kind of stranger and stranger, doesn't it? Because this is not normal. This is not common for a Secretary of State to go sort of semi-AWOL in the middle of an official trip. Uh, and also walking out on the German Chancellor. Yeah, walking out on the German Chancellor and having all those meetings set up with the German Foreign Minister as well. That's absolutely unusual. Normal to uh, restrict the press when a uh, when he would fly into a potentially dangerous situation, potentially a war zone. That is normal, but we don't know that that's what is done. All we know that it, it, that it, it so far is that it's cancelled this meeting with the German Chancellor, and the German Chancellor has been has has sort of fallen foul of President Trump's uh, uh, diplomacy. Uh, one could put it that way on several occasions so far: refusals to handshakes, um, really going off at her at a meeting uh, of NATO leaders uh, last year. So, uh, the, for the Germans to be again, apparently, it seems snubbed in this way after this previous treatment by this administration really that is something very strong and very unusual yeah stood up uh, is snubbed dumped I, I mean i don't know we can we can come with all sorts of descriptions but either way while there may be that kind of messaging to the germans there's also been a lot of messaging pretty blatant messaging i must say with regard to iran you wonder if this is all playing into that <laughs> You do. I mean, one has to wonder what how Iran factors into this. I mean, what we've learned this afternoon is that Iran um, plans to announce tomorrow on the anniversary, the first anniversary of when the United States pulled out of that multinational joint nuclear deal with Iran, um, that Iran is going to announce that it's going to reduce its compliance. European countries have been straining and stressing with them, asking them not to do that, um, because if they do that, there's a potential that the European countries will have to reapply sanctions. The Iranians, for their part, have been saying that Europe isn't doing enough to stand up for them. The IAEA, the International Atomic Ed Energy Agency, says that Iran is compliant with the nuclear deal so far. And this is sort of seems to be getting to a crescendo point with the United States moving the Abraham Lincoln carrier group. Now we understand B-52 bombers into the region in the Middle East near Iran that uh, they see the possibility of Iran increasing uh, some threats to U.S. forces in the region. You can see all of this is ratcheting up. Did that play into, did that announcement, expected announcement by Iran, plan, play into Secretary Pompeo's movements? And when we find out Finally, eventually, where is Ben and what he's been doing? Will all of that make more sense? Yeah, uh, and the Hawks administration certainly seem to be lining up sort of strategic domino. What it is uh, and how it all plays out, um, we'll see. Thanks so much. Nick Robertson there providing us with the diplomatic analysis. Thanks, Nick.